Welcome everybody to this Microsoft 365 feature demo show, whatever we call the show, doesn't really matter this time. Again, we have a really, really, really cool stuff on SharePoint uh, as we're rolling out such a humongous amount of great features on SharePoint pages and portals and all of that. Uh, my name is Cesar Yuvonen. I'm a principal product manager at Microsoft. Uh, and with me today is Caitlin. Uh, Caitlin, uh, let's do a quick intro first and let's talk about the feature after that. So Caitlin, who are you? Yeah, sounds good. Thanks, Vesa. My name is Caitlin Helms. I'm a product manager on the SharePoint Sites and Pages team. And today I'm really excited to come and talk with you about and showcase the new preview mode for SharePoint Pages and News. Yes, so this is something which we got as a feedback for sure. So flexible layouts, we did a video which is which has been watched a lot. So people being super excited about the flexible layout. Feedback is also awesome about flexible layout. And thank you for that. But then one of the feedback items immediately was that how would I then see how this is being rendered in pages and mobile? And that's what we're talking today, right? Yes, exactly. So we're offering a new preview mode that allows you to preview what your page or what your news post looks like across different device types. So across desktop, across mobile device, and for news posts, also what it looks like in email. So you're really able to understand what your page looks like across the different device types. And like you mentioned, it comes in handy, especially with the new flexible sections and flexible layouts yes. that we've introduced. Yeah, absolutely. I think it's more logical that when you have a, the, the function, a normal classic layouts, what do we call the other layouts? Uh, <laughs> but uh, the older layouts, it's more logical how they're being rendered. But with flexible layouts, uh, it might be if it's a really small device like a mobile, uh, you really need to understand how it's being then rendered and all of that. Um, but let's actually jump to the demo. I think let's, let's not wait for the demo because this is really cool stuff. You can show that uh, to everybody in practice how it works. So let's jump on the demo and see uh, the preview in practice. So let me click here and take it away. Awesome, thank you. So here you'll notice that I'm on a SharePoint page and I am in the middle of an authoring session or editing session on this page. You'll notice that there is a new preview button at the command bar on this page. So when I click preview, You'll then enter a new mode where you can look at what the page looks like across different device types, like I mentioned. So here you can notice how the page looks in desktop. And then if you switch over to the mobile view, you can see how the page will render in mobile view. So this shows you the entire page in different views. And you have the ability to scroll, look at all the web parts, see how everything looks before you publish or send out um, your page. And so I do wanna talk about, you know, what else you can do with this. With flexible sections, I do want to call out, we have actually allowed people to edit how their flexible sections reflow on smaller devices. Um, so I want to show that with this section at the top. You'll notice that right now it is in a uh, top to bottom mode. There are two modes, one that reflows web parts from top to bottom, one that reflows web parts from left to right. Um, so let me actually show you on this second section. It might be a little easier to notice. Um, when I go to left to right, um, and then go into preview mode, you should notice that the web parts actually update when I go check and see what it looks like on mobile. Um, so you'll see that originally, if you go back and look at what it looks like, it had the team and then it had the description before showing the people. But since I altered the actual reflow mode for this section, you'll see that it updates accordingly on the mobile device. So there are a couple different ways that you can actually impact how web parts reflow on those smaller device types, specifically with flexible sections. So this um, setting here is just one of those options that you can use. Yeah. Really cool. And, and then, of course, on the flexible layout, just to pinpoint that you are able to do grouping as well, and that impacts the rendering as well. For example, if you group those people as a one group, yeah, yeah, so that's another good call out. So if you have a group of web parts within a section, when they are reflowed onto a smaller device type, they will stay together. So if you notice when I went and looked at the mobile preview for this section, the names of these people and the images always stay together and that's because they are grouped. So just to give you a little reminder of how to group web parts, if you have web parts that you know you always want to stick together when you're moving them or when they are reflowing onto a smaller device, 
device type, what you want to do is group them. You can group them by clicking on one of the web parts, clicking on control on your keyboard, and then clicking on the other web part. And then you'll notice that there is a group button in the arrange items drop down. So once you group web parts, you'll notice that when I group these together, when I go back to preview mode, the team and the description text should stay together. And you'll notice that it does. So grouping does impact the mobile reflow. So that's another setting that you can use specifically within flexible sections that should help you um, better have control of how those web parts look on a mobile device. Absolutely. Absolutely. Really cool. Uh, it's all taken care of or all being optimized by, uh, by us towards the, the, the device as well. Really, really cool. Yeah, and then I'll also call out on news posts. So we do have preview also on news posts in addition to pages. Um, the only difference is that we have added another entry point or option in the preview mode for news posts so that you can view what this news post will look like as an email. So you have the desktop version, you have the mobile version, and then you also have the email version so you can see what the email looks like in the preview as well. That's really cool. This is something what I actually tend to uh, use quite often. So for news articles and updates and everything else, uh, we we as a Microsoft it sounds a bit weird maybe, but we are still a quite email heavy company as well. So we tend to do both in many cases. So we do articles, but then we send those articles in the DLs also as a as an email, as an embedded email on those. Uh, embedded page on the email. I guess that's the right way of saying that. Uh, but having that preview there really helps uh, and definitely so we're able to adapt things uh, before you publish. So really, really cool. Yeah, it's really cool. And then there's one last thing, kind of a little cherry on top that I want to talk about. As we are releasing preview, we are also releasing some animation and pages, which you can preview in preview mode. Um, so now you'll notice on the editorial card web part, on the people web part, and on the quick links web part, there is a new setting in the web part properties pane that says animation. And you can turn this on or off. Um, by default, it is going to be on. But what this does is when your page is in view mode, you'll notice that these different web parts will actually almost slide into effect onto the page so it provides some motion to your page. Um, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this on the recording, but let's see. Uh, when you are in preview mode, you are able to see how that animation looks when the card slides into effect or the web part slides into yeah. the page. You could notice that the movement on the, on the lower section of the page for sure. Yeah, that should be visible in video, definitely. Great. This is really, really awesome stuff. I think that the preview is super, super powerful because again, you don't need to publish things before you're able to double check that this everything rendering uh, properly. So definitely something what was feedback from the flexible layouts already before uh, and in general uh, for, for example, for the sending of a news uh, article in email. So that's something which is super cool that we're able to show how fast we're addressing this feedback as well. Yes. Now, let's go back in here for just a kind of a quick uh, summary. I think we've been rolling out so many cool features already in this, uh, this calendar year. We're recording this in early April 2025. We did also have the hackathon pretty recently, and there was beautiful, beautiful looking stuff being done there, which was great. And thank you, Caitlin, for working as one of the judges uh, on that side. Uh, really kind of a showcasing the flexibility of flexible layouts as well. Flexibility of flexible layouts. <laughs> Repeating. Um, now, uh, do we have anything teasers or anything what we can talk about in the future? Or do we need to be silent now because the conference season is starting and we're going to wait until uh, we announce anything new until the conferences are there? Yeah, there's not much that I can talk about, but I will say we are actively investigating um, how preview mode can be utilized even further in the future. And we've we are also actively looking into even more user customization in the uh, reflow, specifically with flexible sections. So nothing to say right now, but it is something we have, are actively investigating. Yes, definitely, definitely. I, I think it's fair to say that we're only just getting started uh, so which is an interesting statement for a product which has, has existed for more than what 20 years but there's so much in the roadmap so much in the pipeline so many cool things uh, for the for the UX and automation and all of that uh, all up within the SharePoint in the roadmap so can't wait to share more uh, with all of the customers and partners pretty soon but thank you, Caitlin, for joining on this video. A uh, really, really cool feature. Definitely a lot of customers and partners will be happy about seeing that live. 
Yeah, thanks for having me. Always love coming on here and showing the latest and greatest and what we're releasing. So hope everyone gets to use preview mode. Uh, feel free to provide feedback. We'd love to see how y'all are using it. Thanks, everybody. Cheers. Thank you.